Joining us is forward Brendan Mares. Uh, great to catch up with you again, Brendan, uh, entering your third season with the team. Last year, that experience of being a part of an AJ championship and then a Centennial Cup championship, what did that mean to you? Oh, it meant everything for last season. I mean, the guys we had on our team last year, it was just, it was great to see. We had a lot of milestones reach for a lot of players and the team, of course. So, yeah, it was great to, to follow along those veterans that led us towards that championship, but also uh, they taught us a lot for this year and what we have to do as vets to, uh, to control the, the pace of play and the season and how it goes. Is it fair to say, Brendan, that by the time we got to the league final and the Centennial Cup, you hit really hit your stride and, and found your best hockey of the season? Yeah, it was it was good for all of us. We really found our, our stride towards the end of the playoffs and Spruce was a really good team last year and we dealt with them fairly fairly quickly. So that was that was really good. And yeah, I, I was fortunate enough to get that big goal from, from Bell. So that was that helped the confidence a lot there, but yeah, it was it was a good playoff run for sure. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to see that goal in some of the intro videos here. Just a heads up on that. Uh, I'm sure you won't mind. What did you learn from the whole experience though last year? It was yeah, just uh, the vets, of course, just teaching us a lot of stuff and uh, seeing like guys like TJ, just how hard he works, and, and obviously uh, Ryan McAllister, how hard he works too, and and Devin Phillips, of course, he just he puts his heart and soul on the ice every time he plays. So seeing the leadership like that uh, just helps us this year try to do the same thing speaking of that as a leader now this year and part of the, the veteran group on this team what is it going to take now to, to to get back to where we were last year uh we're fairly new and we have a lot of rookies this year too so it takes some adjustment period uh, an adjustment period but uh we, we're gonna find our stride soon here and, and after this weekend I, i'm pretty sure we'll we'll be right on pace what uh, would a good start to the season look like besides wins uh, what does the team need to look like on the ice doing well uh, to, to be considered a good start to the year? Uh, just connecting on our passes, uh, back checking hard, just the little stuff. Uh, goals will come. Uh, we have a lot of talented players, but um, connecting in passes, back checking, just effort in general, getting energy for the group, that's that's going to be the big thing come this weekend. Do you guys enjoy being the team to beat, having that target on your back as the defending champions? Yeah, I love it. It's Everyone comes in here with high intensity. They want to beat the Brooks Bandits, so we're going to continue that legacy here this year and, and see where things go. Sounds like you're pretty uh, anxious to get this started. Uh, you're getting, getting excited there, Brendan? Yeah, I'm really excited for the season. Uh, good luck with everything, and thanks for doing this. Thanks, guys. Bandits forward, Brendan Mares.